I I do drugs, huh? I drink water suck. For myself, yeah. I'm saying order suck. Which one you do? If I'm with a girl, I'm down with it. Why not? You know, but I'll take a hit. Maybe two. Let's go. I will go for the that. I don't I don't I don't fuck with uh Your mommy, if your mommy asks me, where you start? Where you start doing When I start? Yeah. Like, how long you been doing it for? Uh, so I'm going to assume your age, which you're about in your 40s. 48. 48, right? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. How long you been doing it for? I actually, bro, I started smoking weed when I was 12. I started snorting cocaine when I was 14. I tried speed when I was 16. Shit, I ain't never heard too much about speed, too. I, I feel like. That's crystal. That's, oh, man. Fucking that's speed, something fucking different, huh? That's some, uh, put it this way. When I started that shit, when I, when I first started, um, I used to mix it with fucking Vino. Really? Yeah. So you was that. I, I, man. You was that. I, I, you was up like a mother, I right? did shit, bro. I, I mean, it's really, bro. Thanks so. My dog sleeping. Sleeping. Okay. I mean, nah. what was your upbringing like? What was your upbringing like? Cause you say you just said, you know, twelve what? years old, you started, but with the weed, right? Yeah. So what was your upbringing like? You know what, bro? When I first got here, like I didn't speak no English, and my only friends that spoke Spanish were future gangsters. Game makers. So who was I gonna hang with? The only motherfuckers that spoke Spanish. Who was I gonna become? The same way. A gangster. Oh, really? I grew up in this, I grew up in this neighborhood, man. This neighborhood, this is my neighborhood. That little section over there is uh, Anaheim Island. It's an unincorporated area of uh, Anaheim, Orange County. And uh, further down, you got Garden Grove, Buena Park. Um, Cypress, Westminster, Huntington Beach, Newport Beach, um, Balboa Beach. Balboa Beach. Oh, I like the beach. Balboa beach. I'm just going to Doc Waller, so I don't know. Still. I like Doc Waller Beach. You feel me? In LA, I go up there, Venice, and all that other shit. Oh, uh, trust me, you want to go to Balboa Beach. Balboa Beach? Oh, yeah, Mata Haina. Oh, hey, 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 Gay, lesbian, trans, whatever the fuck you are. Well, you know, you're still a human being. So, so, so I got a question. Because you said that, you know, it's been certain stuff going up. I know. Between it. black and brown. Bro. Like, look, I, and I love my Spanish people. Bro. You feel me? Some shit happened. You know what? Motherfuckers make it any different. You know what? But how do you feel about it? You fucking Mexican. Huh? Who? You Mexican. Shit, you Mexican. You black too. That's the way you I look at you. I look at you as a Mexican man. You know, I don't look at you. I look at that, those two white men over there. They're, they're Mexican, you know? But why do you feel that way? Because I feel like everybody, I feel that everybody is my race. The human race. It's all one human race. We're all one, bro. I'm really? black, I'm Asian, I'm yellow, I'm fucking brown. I'm every fucking color, bro. You know what I mean? So what you say to I am who I like am, they... but you know what? Love, love, love everybody in the fucking world, y'all. Uh, really? You know, there ain't no fucking time for fucking hatred. There's too much fucking hatred in the world, bro. Okay. You know what I mean? I got children. 
How many kids? I don't want my children to hate nobody. How many kids? I have two daughters and I have two boys. How old are you? Are they in their 20s? Yeah. My youngest just turned 18, bro. How they doing with themselves? They're doing great. Bro. They're doing great. Yeah, man. My daughters, my daughters, they're, they're beautiful children. They talk to you still? Oh, yeah. They do? Oh, yeah, bro. My children talk to me, bro. You know, they live up in like us, you know. So I've seen how you rolled up, see? You know yeah. what I mean? I don't be out here too much, but seeing how you rolled up, you seem like a cool and Bro, you oh, know what? Real. You seem real cool, bro. Bro, you know what, man? I'll tell you. You feel this, like man. you got some fucking knowledge behind you. On a real. Bro. You really feel like that. I can see it in your eyes. You, you know, do some shit. You, you want to know my knowledge? I'm re- I really want to know. My knowledge is the fucking internet, bro, because I'll tell you what. I didn't even graduate high school. I repeated 12th grade. I flunked 12th grade. Is that right? I was given the opportunity to repeat the 12th grade, and I still flunked the motherfucker. I fucked up. I did some shit I, I'm not proud of. I hurt people I shouldn't have hurt. I regret it. I do. It hurts me to think about it. You believe in God? Or what do you believe in? I'm not going to say God. What do you believe in? I believe in... Because you seem like a good person. I believe in being equal. I believe in uh, doing to others as they do unto you. So if they fucked up, you're going to be fucked up? Hey, you fuck with me, I'm going to fuck with you. On the real. You fuck with my family, (laughs) I'm going to fuck you. On the real. On the real. For real, dog. You fuck with my family, I'm going to fuck you. On the real. You know? I mean, dog. It's called karma. You know? You feel me? I ain't nothing but karma. Bro, if I showed you on the real, if I showed you my body, you trip, bro. Put it this way, bro. There ain't no fucking goddamn pain in the world that I haven't already felt. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, I'm the real, bro. Ain't no goddamn pain in the world that I haven't already felt. I hurt 24-7, bro. I literally have to grab my fucking nuts Squeeze the motherfucker so I can get my ass up out of bed. Every day? Every goddamn fucking day, bro. But that's what I'm saying. What? If you're my doing nothing, that's painful. Bro, my son is my motivation. My youngest son. My 18 year old son. He was diagnosed at 16 with testicular cancer, bro. What's that? Cancer of nuts. He had really? cancer in his balls. At 17, I had one of his nuts removed. My son's 18, bro. He turned 18 April 27th of this year. He's an 18-year-old boy with one nut and a 5% chance of having children of his own. Now, so that bothers you? According. That bothers you? God. Let's talk about God. Yeah, let, him, let him speak. 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 Let him Fuck you. Why you feel that way? It's your feeling. Ain't nothing wrong about it. It's your feeling. Right? Because, bro, I mean, I've heard people. I've heard a lot of people. Some people I know they didn't serve to, to, to be hurt. I regret it with my soul. I mean, I fucking regret it. I do regret hurting people that were not meant to be hurt. But those who, those that were meant to be hurt, fuck, I will do it again. I will do it same again. way. Same fucking way. I won't change one goddamn way. But well, why you hate God in that, in that matter? Why you hate God? Because you just went like this. Because he's punishing my son. Instead of punishing me. So that hurts you even more. You can deal with the pain. I don't give a fuck. Give me the fucking pain. Well, because don't it's give your, it to my son. Because it's your son. 
Why do you take his nose? She wants to have children. She has the right. I'm an old fucking man, dude. I'm fucking 48. Dude, you wanna hurt some? Hurt me, man? Give me the fucking pain. I can handle it. I don't give a fuck. But don't hurt my son. Don't hurt my son. Ah, bro. It's not right. Children do not deserve to get fucking hurt. Well, Children do not deserve to get fucking cancer. Children do not deserve to be fucking orphaned, abandoned, be mistreated, be treated like shit by their own parents. Man, why the fuck do you have children, man? Why the fuck do you have children if you're gonna have, you're gonna treat your children like shit? Man. But I could tell how serious you Take out your look. fucking ovaries and so, chop your balls off, man. So, so your youngest son, that's the one you closest to. You think so? Besides your daughter. Besides your other son. Because I can tell how you feel right now. You get what I'm saying? I can tell that bother you. On the real. Your yeah. youngest son is the one you see. He's my brother. Now they're three hours. They're my kids. They're still they still hurt me. They still hurt me. But the one that's yours, though, that's yours. Well, my, my two daughters, so my you son. You want grandkids? You want grandkids? I have grandkids, bro. How many grandkids you got? I have four. They all here? Yeah. They're my you grandkids. See them? They're my they're my daughters. Right? And they're my daughters' children. I mean, they're not my daughters, like blood. They're my daughters. You know what I mean? I raised them. They're my daughters. That's yours. That's your kids. They're my kids, bro. That's your kids. They're my daughters and my kids. Oh, All of them. They All take four. a real man to do some shit like that. All four, man. That's the way I see it. They're my they kids. They real man to do that. Both my daughters have two little girls. They four little girls. They're my granddaughters. Oh, they real. You see them? I see them. Yeah. So what? So their so, grandmother, their grandmother is still my wife, no matter what. I don't give a fuck what she says. So so, what if I was supposed to tell you some shit? Because if you knew how I grew up, I grew up in foster care. Get what I'm saying? But if I look that way, I can see my car from over here. I got a van. You feel me? I see my mama. My mama a smoker still. Get what I'm saying? I don't hate her. I just like her. But the man that raised me to be, man, cold. You get what I'm saying? But I have to go through the life. There's nothing wrong with it. Because I've seen the homies that, you know what I mean? They have their mama and their daddy and all type of shit. And guess what? They landed themselves in the pen. You know what I mean? I love them motherfuckers, but Cause they got I had to go through life. You, you get what to, I'm saying? You had to go from the beginning. You started, you started out but that's what real, I'm saying. So you started why, in the streets. But that's what I'm saying. So why do you see it as you hate God so much? But not knowing, maybe it's a preparation. You get what I'm saying? I maybe it's God, a preparation. Bro. Just maybe. Because I ain't saying the Bible. I ain't trying to persuade you. You get what I'm saying? But believe in something. Because even if you believe, look, remotely something, it'll make you get up. It'll make you get up and want to do better. Instead of having to be like, let me grab my boss and get up. You get what I'm saying? Let me grab my boss and get up. When I wake up, I'm excited. And it don't take nothing to do it. All I do is look up in the sky and be like, man, come on, cuz, it's you another chance. What, the thing is, bro, that, honestly, I get up, bro, my first thought, my first thing, the first thing that comes to my mind is, how is my son? Do you call him? I call him all the time, bro. I you text him me. all the time. I tell him, I, no, bro, but see, that's his I call my story. son, I tell him I love you, dude. I love you, Papa. I love you so much, dude. I love your mom. I love your siblings, dude. So, I love so, you. so how is he feeling right now? How is he feeling? Is he feeling like you right now? That's a real bro, question. Is he feeling son, like you or how do he feel? My huh? son, check, check it out, bro. My son, the day he turned 18, I called him up, I said, hey, Papa, happy birthday, Papa. I love you, man. 
You the shit. You don't want to answer me? What do you say? He said, so right. Thanks, I appreciate it. So I'm 18, I'm a grown man now, right? I'm legally a man, right? But yeah, you are, Pop. You are. You're a legal man. Huh? You're a grown fucking man now. Right. He's like, so I can tell you what I think, right? I says, of course. Can I tell you what I think about you? He told you some By shit. all means. By all means, Papa. Tell me what you think about me. I feel me. like this shit about to be some shit. I don't know why. He told you some shit, though. Bro. My son calls me up. Uh, oh, no, I call him. He I want to know what he, he told He told you. me, can I call you through video chat so I could see him? I says, of course. Sure. So he's in Lake Elsinore. He calls me through video chat through the duo, Google duo, duo shit. Yeah, duo. I answer and he's like, all right. I don't fucking like you. Your son told you that? My son told me that. Why you have to take it out on video? And as much, look, because I'm, I'm seeing it a different way. No. Look, and I'm pretty sure he see it the same way I'm seeing it. The way you expressing yourself about your son. I love my son. Bro. You feel me? A real man, look, I'm telling you right now. I won't cry tears in front of nobody. But the way you expressing this shit right now, you feel me? You ain't picked up that goddamn drink since talking about your son. You know that? Yeah. So that's something that you actually love. So you know what I feel like? That hurts you, man. That hurts you when he told you that. Because I know I could tell how much you love your son. I, I could really tell. But he young, man. I would you know say call him right now. Bro. Call him right now so I, I can talk to him. I would have given. Man, I would have. I would have had my boss chopped off. Man, call him. So I could give it to my son. Man, call your son so I can talk to him. He On the real. Me. He wouldn't answer me. Because he don't understand the difference. My daddy died when I was 20 years old. You feel me? And I cuss, cuss out. Ooh, on his ass. But he died six months later. That was the last conversation I had with him. Bro, my dad. My dad. My dad's diabetic, bro. He's got Hep C. He's been fighting cancer for the past fucking seventeen years. He out here too. Yeah. Or you in Mexico? No, he's here. Your mom too. My mom too. My mom had an aneurysm when my son was fucking one year old. So what's your relationship with them, man? Oh, I love my. But I'm saying, do they support you in this? Bro, my folks live in my house. Yeah, but but I'm saying, do they support? You get what I'm saying? Oh, uh, bro. Because if the camera wasn't here, shit, I think I really, I would have been thankful talking to you no matter what. Bro. You get what I'm saying? Honestly, man. You got sisters, brothers, something? I have two brothers that way, way different than I am, bro. What you mean? Different styles, like different um, They hood? Or they hood? Nah, nah, they, they the opposite. They workers. Yeah. My little brother, man, is, uh, well, he was United States uh, Sergeant, United States Army. 13 years, United States Army, four years, Army to serve. I did seven. Right? Mm -hmm. I did seven, seven years in the Navy. Shit, bro. My respect. Man. Seven thank years you. in the middle. Thank you. That's why I said. That's why I told my brother. Thank you. I like your story, bro. You know. I like your story. My little brother, bro. My little brother's forty-three years old. He's an underground rapper. Who'd he go by? Give him a shout out right here. Frio. Frio. Cap Frio from Madhouse, the Madhouse Crew in Orange yeah. County, Anaheim, California. Yeah. Frio. My little brother's 23 years old, bro. Well, you said you were. He's got cirrhosis of the liver. That's my little I, brother. I'll see why you think the way you do. 
I, I see why you do. And I hate to say it. You feel me? I hate to say it. That shit crazy. You going through a lot of shit, dog. And it seems like it's non-stop. But I believe in God. I'm like, look, that's my first and foremost. I running out of battery. Running out of battery. Huh? Running out of battery. We want. Or keep this out, bro. Keep this out, bro. Sure, That's beautiful, ain't it? Check it out. What happened right there? It's, uh... I was standing at this fucking cheesy-ass motel, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I was sleeping in the streets. And somehow I got some fucking kind of infection, and... It got to my knee, and... My, my, my leg just started hurting. My, my knee started hurting, like, one day, and, like... In the morning, by fucking next day, two o'clock in the morning, I was in some fucking pain. I called the ambulance. I took me to fucking West Anaheim Medical. Next thing I know, next day I wake up and fucking somewhere in Hawthorne, in LA County, man. The fucking from Hawthorne. out here, from Orange County. I was. I, I woke up in fucking in LA County, man. How the fuck you end up in Hawthorne? There ain't no bus that take you over there. They didn't have the fucking equipment necessary to perform surgery on my knee, man. So they take you to a so hospital. They sent my ass to another fucking hospital. While I was locked down, I had no idea. I wake up and I'm in a fucking strange place. I'm like, what the fuck? Where am I? Like, what? All right. Nickname, Ramon Ayala, a.k.a. Sleepy Jorge Sanchez. Bam. Crow Village Locals, what's up? I got a fuck with you. I got a fuck.